Hey guys, how you all doing? Uh, I do apologise about my appearance. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's about it's about half nine now. Um, we've had a bit of a crazy morning. I had to be up for about seven because we had our oven finally delivered after about ten weeks of not having an oven. I am beyond happy about that. I mean, obviously we can't use it yet because we still need to, you know, get the oven connected and the hob as well and all that jazz. But I am thankful we've got now got an oven. I will never take an oven for granted ever again. Also, we have our new fridge freezer delivered yesterday and that's all up and running. So I'm going to have a, a quick shower, wash my hair, do my makeup and all that jazz and then I'm gonna take you down it's a bit of a mess because obviously got cardboard and everything from the oven but I'm gonna give that a tidy and obviously you'll come with me but I cannot wait to show you the kitchen it's starting to properly look like a kitchen we can start to work in it and yeah it's really really exciting so with that, let's begin the montage. ready for the big reveal I mean it's not completely done yet we've still got cabinets to build and another worktop to build but this is more this is where you'll see how it's starting to look like you'll be able to see where the kitchen's going so I am super excited to hear for you to see this are you ready three two one here we go so we have oh, let's just put them. we have the breakfast bar with our blackboards. Uh, obviously, it's not completely done yet because we still need to have the leg on. But there's that, and then we have our new fridge. We need to give that a bit of a polish, but. I am so happy with this, look. Ah. And so of course we've got the fridge side here and all this is the freezer. Gonna have our bagels, got spare stuff like bread, chicken. Um, obviously we haven't got much in here because it, well, because we haven't, our oven still doesn't work. We still need to get it plugged in. So we went for a big shop yesterday and we just bought things like sandwiches and salad, um, fruit, lemonade, salad, deep bits down there. We've got our drinks compartment, like other spare bits. And then we've got all our sauces up there. And also we have our water dispenser. So with this one, you don't plumb it in at all. You literally just put the water in there. As you can see that line, fill the water up and we've got the water dispenser. We don't have ice because it actually comes with, I found this very exciting, an ice maker type thing. So you put your water in here. And then obviously that covers it up so it don't spill. Keep it in the freezer for however long it turns into ice. And then it just goes in there like that. How exciting is that? So I don't mind not having an ice machine because we've got this. So there we go. It just makes life so much easier. Because of this one, don't get me wrong. It has served as well for the last the last ten weeks. But however, especially with how tall Nick is as well, 
it's just so small and you know he just prefers one of these anyway moving swiftly on there's our fridge fridge master up there we have the sink area yes i know i need to do the washing up that is going to be on my to-do list today the trouble is we stored our plates and glasses in that cupboard down there obviously that will be moved once we've got more storage in but every time we have to get a, a cup or a plate out luckily this is on wheels so i can myself move it outward but Oh, nevertheless, we've got a fridge. I'm happy. I'm not complaining. So this is our new sink. That's so exciting. I'm coming along here. I mean, this is going to get sorted again once we've got everything sorted. But we've got our kettle, our microwave, our toaster, and our teas, coffees, and all that jazz. We've got the washing machine down there, which you have seen hundreds of times in my vlogs. Moving swiftly on, this is the highlight of my entire kitchen. We finally have an oven! Let me tell you the struggles we have had with this oven. So, we ordered one not too long ago since we moved in the house from PC World and it got delivered, it was all fine, no problems, but then we got somebody to come in and plumb it all in and it, the oven was faulty the hob worked but the oven didn't so we got in touch with pc world and we had to wait over two hours multiple times until we finally got an answer so we got a refund they took the oven away and then we ordered another one but we went to order it on argos so we ordered it on argos and they said um they, oh, what did they say? So we ordered it from Argos and they were like, yep, yeah, it'll come in about three weeks. Great, sorted. And then it came up to three weeks. It was gonna be delivered the next day. We got a text and the text said that they had to postpone the delivery and it couldn't arrive until three weeks later, which was today. So I was not impressed, but there we are. Um, it's, it's just one of those things. We just have to adapt. And luckily, Nick and I have managed. We still can't cook anything yet until we've got somebody to come in and have a look. Nevertheless, I am so chuffed. We finally have an oven and we're just waiting now for someone to come in and plumb it all in. So thankfully, it's all done. I'm not complaining. We now have one and we can just enjoy it and I can get on and do some really nice healthy recipes. I am trying to be a lot healthier now. I've cut out my Coke, well, Pepsi, and I am trying to be a bit healthier. I, mean, I know I've got my caramel shortbreads, but they can be a treat. But in general, I am just trying to be more healthy, go and do more walking, more exercising. And when we've got an oven we're going to try out loads of different healthy recipes if you know any healthy recipes that you think we might like to try comment down below it'd be great to read them all um also comment down below if you like this sort of content and also in my last vlog i mentioned that i was going to do another channel i did make this channel but then I read a comment, someone on Facebook, and it said that you actually can make a playlist on YouTube. And obviously, I didn't know anything about that. So I'm going to do all my vlogs on that playlist. So I'm going to delete my YouTube channel. I'm going to figure out how to delete the old, the, the newest one that I've created. And keep this one that I've been running a long time. It just save a lot of time and effort and just do another playlist for my vlogs and the main channel I'm going to do for my uh, advice videos and chatting about my disability and that kind of thing so anyway swiftly on to the kitchen and to our cooker now the final bit of the out kitchen excuse the mess this is like all the instructions that I have been looking in we have the um a bit of the worktop done. Got our bread bin, we got our chopping boards, little cheese knives, 
all my little caramel shortbreads. I'll have one later. And obviously we have sorted out our jars. We've got tins and jars here. We've got pastas, more jars. Yeah, and just cookie stuff in there. Then in here we have a lot of packet mixes like rice, couscous, noodles. We've got our breakfast things there. We've got more breakfast things down here. We've got um, baking stuff in here. I'm going to do a proper organising day when we've got all the like kitchen stuff done. However, I just wanted to start getting stuff in so it actually feels like a kitchen. Then in here we just have things for the oven and we've got a slow cooker in here and we've also got like bo like little boxes for like sandwiches and stuff. So there you have it and this is the overall view of the kitchen. I, yeah, it was, it's much better than I ever imagined, to be honest. I'm very chuffed about it. All we're now waiting for is a tumble dryer, which I'm hoping we can get when we fit it in the next load of worktops. And then once that's in, we'll be able to get the tumble dryer and that will, fingers crossed, be pretty much our kitchen done. And then the next big job is the plastering for the ceiling turn the light on it's our ceiling i'm not a big fan of the ceiling at the moment so i'm going to plaster this and plaster the two ceilings in the bedroom um we're not going to do it ourselves this time down here. We're not going to do it ourselves this time. It, it, you know, it was great fun when we did it, when Nick did it, but it was a lot of work and you have to make sure it's smoothed out to, before it dries and it's a lot of technical stuff. So we've got a plasterer coming in tonight to give us a quote and I'm hoping when we go to Cornwall they can come in and do it then. So they've got two weeks, I've got nobody in the house, no dog, nothing. So they can just crack on, get it all done, and it will look loads better when we come back. So when we get back, we can crack on with the bedroom. We're going to start off with the spare room. Then we're going to do, um, I think we're going to do the spare room. Then we're going to do the living room, because then we can use the spare room as a living room space. So we can take the our tv up there and the ps4 up there um and we've got chairs up there so we can decorate the bed uh, the, the living room and, and i think our bedroom's going to be last but we don't mind our bedroom's quite livable it's, it's actually pretty good our bedroom at the moment um so that's the plan i really hope you enjoyed seeing my kitchen i don't know what else i've got in store today that i can film going to take our little doggy for a nice W shortly. I've got a friend coming over to later on today, hopefully, um, to come see the house. So I'm really excited. I'm hoping maybe we go to the pub and have a little cheeky little drink. Who knows? So I really hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.